Do you want to learn how to perform 2D navigation with a drone? Then stay with me, this video is for you. Hello Ross developers and welcome back to the Ross questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross Navigation, Ross with Drones, Ross for Autonomous Cars. Everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to finish our series of 2D drone navigation that we have started some weeks ago. But before anything else, remember to check our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now, yes, let's go with the video. So as I've said, we are going to finish our 2D drone navigation series today. And in one of the videos, we got a very interesting question here from Kashis Nuri, who says, here you have simply used World Frame as a geometry source which Gazebo is publishing, but in the real world we have to publish it by ourselves. Considering its implementation on a real drone, then what we can use to get the odometry data? So during our videos, we were using the World Frame as, as Kashi points here, which is taken from the Gazebo simulation, but this, uh, we don't have it, obviously, in a real environment, in a real room. So how can we get a real odometry uh, from the simulation? From the, in this case, we are going to get it from the laser readings, so from the sensor of the drone itself. So this is what we are going to see today, and yeah, let's go. Let's open, as always, RDS, Ross Development uh, Studio. And I'm going to open here my Rosjet, which is the drone to the navigation Odom. Let's use, I'm going to use in this case the Pro, the Pro uh, instance to have a little bit more of power. And yeah, let's wait a few seconds until this fully loads. So what we are going to be using here is the RF2O laser odometry package. So I'm going to go here, here we have it. So this basically is a package that provides us uh, an odometry given uh, some laser readings. So based on, here you have, estimation of a 2D odometry based on planar laser scans. So yeah, let's come here and uh, we'll have to do some modifications, first of all. So let's open a shell, let's open an IDE as well, in order to visualize everything properly. Great, so here we are. And then the first thing we are going to do is to do a, a modification in the simulation so that it better represents uh, the real world. So here in the Hector Quadrotor Gazebo uh, package, we have the launch that we have been using, which is this camera launch. This basically is starting uh, here, as you can see, it's a spawn in the Quadrotor with this launch file, the spawn quadrotor.launch, which we have here. And here, basically, what we are going to do is to is to de deactivate the fake uh, odometry, which is the ground truth. So here, in use ground truth for TF, we are going to set these two false. Here we have as well the world frame, which we are going to leave blank. And finally, down here we have the ground truth to TF, which here is what it's doing basically is to is to publish is to generate this fake uh, odometry, which is in the world frame, here. So we are going to comment all this part, like this, in order to deactivate it. And let's now start our simulation. So here we have the camera launch. Let's start this right here. And meanwhile, let's start downloading our package, the package we are going to use, which is the RF20 laser odometry. So we are going to do here a clone. There we go. So here we should have it in 
our Catkin workspace. There it is, great. And this, uh, I think it has, it's almost there, almost loaded. Now we are going to quickly visualize the current TF3 to see what, uh, in what status we are now. So, yeah, here we have our simulation. And let's very quickly do a view frames. And we are going to visualize uh, how do we have now the, the TF3. There we go. So let's download here the frames PDF and visualize it very quickly. Here we have it. So basically, as you can see now, what we have is a base link, which represents the, the base, the rotational center of the robot, the base of the robot. And here we have the TF to the camera, to the front camera, to the laser, and to the sonar. Yeah, in this case, we are interested in this TF, the base link to the laser frame. And then what we are going to do here is to generate an odometry frame on top of here, which is connected to the base link. Yes, this is what we need, and this is what we are going to do right now with the RF20 laser odometry package. So, yeah, let's come here. And now we are going to configure the launch file here. We have it here. So, as you can see here, we have to state uh, some parameters. The first is the scan topic, which in our case, we have it in the, in the scan topic, as you can see. So we are going to modify this from laser scan to just a scan. Then this is the topic where we are going to publish the odometry, which is Odom RF20 in this case. We can leave it like this. Then we have to set this publish TF to true because this way it's going to generate the transform from the base link to the odometry frame, which we don't have it right now. We need it. So we have to set this to true. Then finally, the base frame is the base link. This is correct. The Odom frame is going to be named Odom. Okay. And here, since we don't have the the ground truth, the fake odometry, we are going to remove this. We don't need it anymore. And let's set here a frequency to 10 Hz, for instance, a bit higher. And let's save this and let's launch it right now. So RF20, sorry, RF20 laser odometry. There we go. And here it is running, excellent. So now let's let's generate again the TF3 and see what we have now that we have launched our uh, our package. So let's come here and let's generate again the view frames, uh, the TF3. Great. So let's download again the PDF file. And as you can see now, we have exactly the same as before, but we have now our Odom frame and the transform from this Odom frame to the base link, which is generated by the RF20 laser odometry. Yeah, which is the one we have launched right now at 10 Hz, as you can see. So excellent, everything looks uh, great. So now what we are going to do basically is to... Well, let's first of all do a raw topic list and see if we have our odometry published. Here we have it, Odom RF20. So let's do a raw topic echo and see that everything is going fine. So here we have our odometry published. Excellent. So this is working perfectly fine. This is what we wanted. So let's now test this with our navigation that we have created. And here in the quadrotor move base, here we have it. So now, in the Odom frame ID, obviously we are going to use the Odom frame instead of the world. And in the Odom topic, we are going to use our new topic, which is Odom RF20. Here we have it. And the rest, we can leave it as it, as it is. The laser topic is a scan, so everything is fine. The global frame will be map, and the base frame will be base link. Excellent, and here let's check also the this launch file, the quadrator localization. So here, <coughs> as well, we will need to change the Odom frame from world to Odom, which is the one we are using currently. 
and I think that's it. Everything else looks fine. So let's save this and let's start our navigation node. So Ross Launch Quadrotor Navigation, Quadrotor Move Base, there we are. And let's open another shell. Still, we are going to to launch RV. So here it's everything launched. Odometer we receive it. Excellent. And first of all, let's let's take off our robot. In fact, there we are. In order to be able to navigate it properly. And now let's uh, start an RV node. And open a graphical tools here in order to visualize RVs. Okay, let's make this a bit bigger here. Okay, so let's check here RVs. Let me load here a configuration. Should be here in RVs. There we go. Okay, so here we have our uh, our robot with the uh, AMCL particles for localization, the global cost map. So yeah, right away, let's send here a navigation goal. Let's say, for instance, here. The path is properly generated, as you can see. Localization is is getting better and better. And our robot is directly going to its goal, so everything is working perfectly fine. Let's see if it arrives currently to its goal, which should be around here, more or less. Yeah, there it is arriving, it's rotating, and goal reached, so it has perfectly arrived to its goal. So as you can see now, we have performed navigation, the same that we did in the, in the last video, but using odometry, instead of the Warframe, and this odometry is generated from the laser readings of uh, of the laser of our Quadrotor, of our Quadrotor drone, yeah? So, yeah, that's all for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, you have learned something new. If you have liked the video, please leave us a like. Remember to subscribe to our channel, we are creating new series, new videos every day, so stay tuned. And please remember to leave your thoughts and comments in the in the comments section below. We are going to, to try to read them and answer as quick as we can. And yeah, that's all. See you in the next video. Goodbye.